I had the same lunch group again today, which is totally fine because I liked my lunch my lunch group yesterday with uh, Captain Falcon trying to Falcon punch me. He didn't try to do that again today, but he did recommend the shows One Piece, um, Dragon Ball, and this show called Slam Dunk, which I guess is a basketball show. I don't know. <laughs> when I got in this morning, there was this piece of paper on my desk that had all of the teacher's signatures on it, and I was like, what is this? And um, the teacher explained it to me. I'm not sure if I wrote it down right, but she said, Usoji? That might be totally wrong. But um, she explained it that it was like, if you sign this paper, then you're promising that you won't do bad things. Like, you won't commit crimes, or you won't do drugs, or you won't do that kind of stuff. And I kind of laughed hysterically at that, because that, that was just so funny. I was like, oh, <laughs> I have to, like, sign a contract. I won't do bad stuff. So that, like, if I do do a bad thing, then they could pull that out and be like, look, you signed this contract that said you wouldn't do a bad thing. And I was like, I thought that, like, as human beings, we sort of just sign that contract Anyway, like, I won't rob a bank. I don't have to sign a contract that says I won't rob a bank, because I just, I just won't rob a bank, because you shouldn't do that. <laughs> so it was, just, it was just funny to me that I had to, like, sign this thing. So I signed it, and of course uh, my signature isn't kanji, because that's not what my signature looks like. It's English letters, and all the, um, all the teachers were like, oh, it's so cool the way your signature looks. And I'm like, no, I don't think it is. Um, so I played this fun game in the 7th grade classes today, um, it was called Go to Sleep and Wake Up, or whatever. Basically, they're in groups of six, and they each have a number in their groups of six, and so two through six go to sleep, like, put their heads down on the desk, and number ones all look up and I write a word on the board, and then they go to sleep, and then number twos wake up, I write a word on the board, and they have to, like, remember the word. And the, wor the words all, c all come together to make a sentence, like, um, I have a ball in my bag, or something like that. Um, so they all have to remember their own words, and they're all, all the words are jumbled up, so it's like, ball, I, bag. So they all get together, and then they, like, yell the words at each other, and then they have to try to figure out what the sentence is. And it, it's so funny, they have, to write down, they have to write down the sentences on a piece of paper, and then they have to give me the paper. So one kid was writing the sentence down and he got like so pumped and so excited that he like got up and he started like sprinting across the room but he tripped over something and he like face planted in the ground. But instead of being like, ow, I just face planted on the ground, he just stood up and like kept going and be like, please look at my paper. And it was really sad because it was wrong. <laughs> so I was kind of like, oh, I'm sorry, but this isn't right. So, bummer. <laughs> so, um, it was too bad. but. It was really funny. The kids were really into the game. They were like pacing and, and like flailing their arms and being way too excited. It was adorable. I, I'm trying to think of a way that I could bring that to elementary school because in elementary school they can't write and they can't read English. So, I mean, I'm trying to think like maybe I'd just give them a sequence of colors that they have to remember. Like ones would be yellow, twos would be green, but like that's stupid. That's just awful. So, I don't know. Um, and then the ninth graders had to write an essay. <laughs> See, that's how it changes when you go from seventh grade to ninth grade. Ninth graders had to write an essay uh, about like what they want to be when they grow up, and it was so cute because it was like I remember those days. You know, because like half of them were like, I want to be a baseball player, I want to be a soccer player, I like soccer, so I want to be a soccer player. Um, two kids wanted to be English teachers. I was so happy about that. And one of the kids who wanted to be an English teacher was like, I want to be an English teacher because studying English makes me happy. And the, the English teacher looked at me and he was like, he's lying. <laughs> he doesn't like studying English. Because I was correcting all of the, um, all the essays. And he was like, he's lying. He's lying. I'm like, well, it doesn't matter if he's lying. It's, it's correct English, so whatever. So it was just funny. Um, one kid was like, I want to be a soccer player. Soccer is very happy. And I was like, mm -hmm. no, that's not what you meant. 
and then um, Precious Baby Deer Face Kid. Oh, it was so cute. He was like, I want to be an astronaut. When someone wants to be an astronaut, it's just automatically adorable. But since he's Precious Baby Deer Face Kid, it's like 10 trillion times more adorable. He's like, I want to be an astronaut. I like the moon. The stars are very interesting. <laughs> I was like, oh, you're so adorable. Oh, they're just too, too cute. Um, yeah, so I'm still working every day after school to help the kids with their speech contests. I still haven't met up with the 8th grader or the 7th grader who are doing the speech contest, but I have been working with the two 9th graders. So, um, yeah, they're going to be awesome. I just know it. Especially since I'm the judge. Oh! <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not going to... I'm not going to be biased. I'm going to be a really, really good judge. <laughs> oh, but I want my kids to win anyway. Actually, I, there are a couple of judges. There's like, going to be like eight, I think. Um, they're all, all the other ones are going to be Japanese people. So um, I probably won't be able to vote for my kids at all. So whatever. Not like I'd give them perfect tens or anything. <laughs> all right.